Welcome to this tutorial, an introduction to Google Drive for Education. In this first video, we're going to cover creating and naming new documents and some basic text and paragraph formatting that you'll need to create documents. To join in at this point, you'll need to have your username and password. You can get this from your organization's Google Apps Administrator. Once you're ready, go ahead and log in, and then you'll need to accept this user agreement and enter the CAPTCHA code. Once you've accepted the user agreement, you'll be taken to the Google Drive screen. Click Sign In and enter your username and password and you'll be taken to your Drive menu. Okay, once we're here at our Google Drive home screen, we're set to start creating documents. So the first thing we want to do is locate the Create button over here on the left. Now notice there's two basic ways that you can add documents to your Google Drive. And your Google Drive incidentally has five gigabytes of online storage free. You can access these documents from any location that you have a web-connected computer. Uh, by just It could be your smartphone, it could be an iPad, it could be an Android tablet, uh, laptop, anything like that, you can access your documents. This one here is the Upload button, and if you click the Upload button, you're given the option to upload some files. And note that it doesn't have to be like word processing files or PowerPoint files or anything like that. You can actually upload other kinds of files just for storage, temporary or permanent. I mean, up to five gigabytes worth of storage. So it could be movie files or it could be music files, any of that kind of stuff as well. Uh, PDFs work great. But if you say Upload Files, it'll give you some options where you're going to browse to what you want and then you just upload it that way. We're not going to get into a great deal of depth on that one for right now. The Create button is going to be more important to us for today. To start a new document, and in this case we're going to work on a word processing document, I click the Create button and then I select the very first one. Notice my choices. Document, Presentation, that's like PowerPoint, Spreadsheet, form, which is like an online interactive form or survey, drawings, folders, etc. We're going to stick with document and just do a word processing. So click create and document. And now I've got my new document. The next step is I need to name my document. Now it's a little different. If you're in Word or another word processor, you have to go to File, Save As, and give it a name. Here you can see that it actually has a name up here at the top. It's just a boring name. It's Untitled Document. To change that, I just click on it, and then I give it a title, such as, I don't know, Resume. Click OK, and now I've got a title. Now another cool thing is, notice it says right here, All Changes Saved. I never hit Save, I never said File Save, it simply saves it automatically and it does so in real time. In fact, if I go back into my drive, I can actually see, hopefully, that that resume has been saved in my drive. So I'm going to go back in here into my resume and now I'm ready to get started editing. Okay, a lot of the editing tools that you're going to find in Google Drive as you create these documents are going to be really similar to ones you're already familiar with in other applications. So as you start typing, we're going to start typing this, this guy's resume. And you'll notice that the, all of that's the normal standard stuff. The default font is Arial size 11. Um, I can change any of that simply by highlighting the text, go up here to my drop down menu, and select the font I want. It should be noted that you can click Add Fonts. And while this is a pretty darn limited list, if you go to Add Fonts, there's a pretty large list of fonts you can add to your list. So for example, if I think Meriwether is the font I need for this resume, I can click OK. And now it changes it to Meriwether, and you'll notice Meriwether is now on my drop-down list of fonts. I can also do things like I can resize my fonts right here. I can add uh, features such as bold, 
italicized, underlined, etc. I can change the text color. Let's make that a little bigger. And so on. So a lot of these are going to be very familiar tools. Notice you also have style tools, pre-designed styles for headings and titles, etc. You can do custom headings as well um, and create custom styles. Uh, a couple of other things to notice here, you do have text background color, so if I wanted to add a background to all of this, I could simply, it's the same thing as highlighter tools that you'll see in other applications. By the way, you should notice that this button here, the all-important undo button is right here, so if I don't like what I just did, I can click undo and it will undo it. Alright, as I further go down, I can do things like uh, my qualifications, include and I can do numbered lists I can do bulleted lists I can change the the level of indent so I can say let's see um, excellent communication skills um, organi organized can't type, but that's, I'm not listing that as one of my qualifications. Technological skills, etc. Alright. You'll notice here we have our alignment tools. So for example, if I want to change this alignment to right, here's my left, center. I can just highlight it and click right align. Notice by the way that it does have keyboard shortcuts. And uh, if you're used to using keyboard shortcuts, for example, on the on a PC, a control clicker, control R would move your text to the right, just like so. Uh, if I want it centered, I can center it like so. There's also a line spacing tool, so if I decide I need this spaced out a little more because the default for some reason in Google is 1.15, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm sure that somebody smarter than us has a uh, great reason for that, but we're going to go with 1.5 on this one. You can see how that affects the alignment. All right, so that's the basics of inserting text, doing some basic formatting, such as changing the font sizes and styles and alignment of text, adding some bullets, line spacing, and so on. In the next video, what we're going to look at is how to insert images, links, and drawings into uh, a document in Google Docs.